So number one, a circles question, but a geometrical circles question. So if it was this particular type, then it's a fairly standard form. You're given the equation of one circle, that enables you to extract the geometrical information about the position of the centre and its radius, which gives you dimensions that you can use to find the geometrical features of another circle. And then from its geometrical features, reconstruct the equation. So the first thing here would be, what's the centre of this circle? We'll call that one C1. Well, C1 would be, and an ideal position to place it in, is underneath these two terms, X and Y term, because the centre will just be half of those, the negative of half of those. So that will be five, positive 5, positive 6. So the centre is at the point 5, 6. So that centre is at 5 along 6 up. The radius will be the square root of, and it's just the centre squared, 5 squared plus 6 squared minus the number at the end. So that's the square root of 25, 36, take away 45, that's 16, root 16, I took a bit of room up here, 4. So there's the geometrical information for the first circle. Its radius is 4 and its centre is at 5, 6. So it's just a case of, can I find the geometrical information for this circle and then reconstruct its formula? It tells you the total distance is 14. Well, if the radius of this circle is 4, that means its diameter is 8. So if that part's 8, the remaining diameter will be 14 minus 8. So for this circle, I'll call that C2 and R2. So straight away, I can work out what R2 is. R2 is going to be half of whatever's left over from 14 when I take away this part. It's going to be half of 14 minus the diameter of that, which is 2 times 4. So that's going to be a half of 14 minus 8. It's a half of 6, which is 3. The radius of that circle is 3. Then it's just a case of how to get the centre of that circle. Well, if it's in a vertical line, the x coordinates will be the same. So straight away for C2, I know that x is 5. What about its y coordinate? Well, it'll be something more than 6. How much more than 6? Well, it'll simply be the radius of the first one which lifts you up 4, and the radius of the second one, which is 3. So it's going to be 7 above it, or I could show the working this way simply. 6 plus 4 plus 3. Same x-coordinate, because it's in line vertically, and I just have to climb up the radius and the radius. So the centre of that circle is at 5, and that's going to be 13. There's the geometrical information for the second circle. Let's just reconstruct the equation, and that's trivial. Instead of using the expanded form, you can use the squared form x minus the x coordinate at the centre, y minus the y coordinate at the centre is the radius squared. Which you could just leave like that, only changing that to a 9, or you could expand it out. I'll just expand it out back into this form here, because that's just a case of multiply those brackets and gather the constants together. Squaring a bracket, square the first, twice the product, square the last, square the first, twice the product, Oh, well, let's just say 26y. Sometimes you just don't realise what you're writing down. Square the last, and then that's 9, and then just tidy it up into the standard form. x squared, y squared, minus 10x, minus 26y, and then adding this together, take the 9 across, that's 160, so 185. It doesn't take a lot to reconstruct the expanded form from the concise squared form.